So the city of Ottawa, alongside the Somali Center for Family Services, hosted the city's very first Somali Cultural Festival back in July. It was an opportunity for the Somali community here in Ottawa to showcase who we are as a nation. So what the festival had to offer was food, outdoor activities, music, small vendors, and even a fashion show. But not only was the community able to showcase their businesses, but their culture as well. And the whole place basically had various booths, which highlighted Somali initiatives here in the capital. So for me personally, I was at the festival for two reasons. For one, I was there with my mom, helping her out with their booths. She was there providing tea and traditional Somali sweets. The second reason is to help bring awareness to the nonprofit I work for, the Somali Education Fund. And with such a large Somali population here in Ottawa, I'm really surprised that this didn't happen early on. Like by the time the opening ceremonies happened, the whole place was packed. And it's funny how when I was reading the article for the Ottawa Citizen, it mentioned the number of people that showed up. It said the Somali Cultural Festival was able to draw 75 people to, to the event. I was like, 75 people? I was like, Like, that's how much was in line for, this, for the Sambusa meals at like one particular time. Like, there was hundreds of people. I was there for most of the festival. Throughout the entire day, there was like hundreds of people just coming in and out. I mean, everyone was enjoying their time at the festival from those enjoying the food, the shows, and the music. I mean, even the grandmothers and cameramen were into it. And the event was such a success that Mayor Jim Watson, by the end of the night, proclaimed the Somali Cultural Festival an annual event. I, Jim Watson, Mayor of the City of Ottawa, do proudly proclaim July 29, 2017, Somali Cultural Festival Day in Ottawa. Congratulations. And honestly, it was such a great way to showcase the Somali community in a positive light to the public. And oh so often, our country is shown in such a negative light and Jerome Jar said it best, a whole nation shouldn't be viewed based off of the actions of a few. And it's really unfortunate to not be able to see the 14 million doctors, architects, teachers not viewed when people think of Somalia. And if one attack happens on a particular day, it shouldn't be viewed as the entire reputation of a country. However, as long as we are given a platform to showcase what Somalia has to offer, like this festival, then we will be seen as who we truly are and not be labeled by tragedies.